Hello and welcome back. I wanted to cover a new video today. This one's probably going to be pretty short and sweet as it is, but adding extensions in FreePBX. Now, FreePBX, or excuse me, more specifically extensions to FreePBX, are essentially each little node or device, soft phone, whatever it may be. It is not tied to one specific user. You may need more than one extension for your user, depending on your setup. Preferably, I like to have a desk phone and a soft phone because why the fuck not? Um, so we'll just jump right into it today. So as you can see, we have two clients right here waiting to be set up and our server down here below at 10.00.105. Now, if we come down to here, we'll pull our admin panel over here. We head down to applications and extensions. You can see we already have our extension here, which we covered in another video, but just to demonstrate, we'll go to quick create extension. We'll do sip chan underscore pj sip. Extension number 1011. This can be whatever you want. I do not recommend that this is an actual phone number, but rather a three or four digit code. Display name, we'll add this as client1. Outbound caller ID, if you wish for this client or this extension specifically to have a different outbound caller ID when calling others, you can change this here. Otherwise, it will take on the next thing in the tree, whether that is your outbound routes or your trunk itself. The email address, if applicable, we won't be filling this in today. And next, we'll disable find me, follow me because we are not using this. We won't be touching parking lot. And we will leave this as yes, as well as disable in the voicemail, just because we won't be using the voicemail today. Finally, finish. And then we'll zoom in to that client number one. And you'll want to keep note of this secret here. For demonstration purposes, we will set this to password 2023. So our display name is client one. Our secret is password 2023 and our username is 10011. To demonstrate, we'll submit this and apply that configuration. Okay, and it's finished. Pull that aside. Finally, we'll locate our client one right here. Under Linphone, this is in Linux Mint, by the way. If you wish to install this, you can do sudo apt update and and apt install linfo just like that usually with any debian ubuntu or linux mint distribution this should work just fine close that out and use a sip account the username once again will be oh no do not snap that we'll pull this aside here for demonstration pen zero one one display name ten zero one one sip domain will be your server address ten dot zero dot zero dot one zero five your password will be this secret right here password twenty twenty three and your transport will usually need to be UDP we'll go ahead and use that and as you can see we can now make calls and just to confirm We'll go ahead and set up another extension as well. As seen before, applications, extensions, quick create, change PJ SIP 1012, display name, client 2. Next, do not enable voicemail because we will not be using this. Finish, edit, client 2. Password 2024 and submit. Finally, apply configuration and mirror that same data over here. 12, 12, 10, 0, 0, 1, 0, 5, and password, password 2024, as we have set here. Use. Finally, we should be able to dial 10, 12.
And just like that, we now have two extensions that can successfully call each other, just like that. <phone rings> Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you and tally up.